Eldar. So this is my first living Eldar unit, which are my Swooping Hawks. So I've chosen to add a unit of these guys to my army as they sort of bring something that the Wraith units don't. So although they're a lot more fragile than the Wraith, than like the Wraith Guard, they're quite a lot quicker being jump infantry. And they also have quite a nice set of war gear and rules. So rules wise, they're your standard Eldar, so Ballistic Skill 4, Weapon Skill 4, Strength and Toughness 3, 1 Wound, I think Initiative 4, 1 Attack, Leadership 9, 8 or 9, with um, Aspect Armor, so it gives them a 4 up save. And their, their Ritual Weaponry, as their Aspect Warriors, are the Laz Blaster, which is a sort of, sort of a better Laz gun, it's Assault 3, Strength 3, um, AP 5, range 24, which is quite useful. And it's have a sort of pla both plasma, which count as uh, sort of assault grenades, and haywire grenade, which is great for dealing with vehicles. And they have something called the grenade pack, so that when they deep strike, they can drop sort of grenades on the target within 24 inches of where they deep strike. It's quite useful, especially as they do no longer deep strike as long as their the unit only contains swooping hawks and the phoenix lord if you want which is really useful and they can still have their sky leap rule so they can remove at the beginning of a turn they can go into ongoing reserves so they're ready to deep strike next turn but they can't do that on the turn they arrive so it's quite useful for them it gives them lots of maneuverability and the ability to sort of drop down on that um, objective on the last turn, either take it or it, well, to deny it. Yeah. So for these guys, instead of the yellow and blue, I've gone with sort of the classic Swooping Hawk colours. So there's sort of a light light blue for their armour, with white helm with sort of green face mask and green bits on the wings. And I chose to do all their sort of the wing feathers, as it were, in the yellow to sort of tie them in with the rest of the army, so and that's sort of the Cassandora yellow wash over white undercoat. And I've got six of them, what comes in the box, um, with X Arch, with a Hawk's Talon, which is just a, a bigger uh, laser blaster, I think it is. Um, so it's strength 5 rather than strength 3, so it gives a bit of damage dealing ability. So yeah, so these are um, my newest unit. Um, I've, I'll have some more videos on the some of my Eldar coming soon, as I've got a couple more units of on going through. And also, I'm thinking I will probably do a re my first sort of review of a book on Codex Eldar, and I'll probably tie in Codex Iandin with it as it's actually quite small in rules wise but has quite a lot of nice background. But I won't go into that so much. Yeah, um, other videos you can expect soon are there should be another Titan one which hopefully will show the finished article, which is rather nice. And I've got some more Space Wolf stuff to do to well to show you, and there'll be another tale of five gamers coming up soon so guys i hope you enjoy these guys i'll put some pictures after this uh don't forget to check out the facebook page um i'm trying to um post reasonably frequent updates on that um if you have any questions or comments please post them below or on the facebook page and thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in a video soon.